crashing sucks. We see the pros crashing on TV. We see the epic crashes on GMBN. But when people like you and I crash spectacularly, nobody gets to see it. Two months ago, I had a big old crash. Oh. Loads of you have asked what on earth happened, and later on this video, I'm gonna explain just that. But mostly, this video is about getting back on the bike and trying to get fit. And how I went about doing that, around working at GCN Megabase, filming and just normal life. Because let's face it, my days of being pro are long gone, but also because I wanna show you that no, it's not easy, but everyone can do it, and most importantly, have some fun and laughs along the way. Now then, almost this whole thing was filmed by me, and pff, that alone could make for a pretty interesting video. But don't judge me just yet. And don't worry, this video isn't just about science and data. It's about, well, I don't know, just watch it and let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Right. Here it goes. It's the 4th of August. It's D-Day. It's the day. I'm getting on the turbo. It's going to be the first ride I've done for well over a month. Oh, I'll tell you what, the old, uh, the old medium jersey is extra, extra snug. I mean, it was, uh, it was always pretty tight and airy fitting, but oh boy. Right, first turbo session done. It was all right. I felt quite slow, but um, start, it'll do. Also, it looks quite funny having hairy legs. Maybe I'll shave those soon. Um, yeah, other than that, nothing major to report. Road pretty steady, and uh, we'll pick this back up tomorrow. Mm. Right, it's day two. Oh, I'm out of breath. I'm just walking up this massive hill back there. Just walking the dog. There he goes. I'm out of breath, and it's got it's about 130 beats a minute heart rate, which is actually a pretty good workout. I dug the bathroom scales out this morning. Yeah, I was right, the old jersey is a bit tight, so 83.1 kilograms this morning, which is close to the heaviest I've been for a little while, but a bit of eating healthy, a good bit of exercise, hopefully. Um, be a bit lighter, go uphill a bit better on the bike. I've just tried to recreate a few simple efforts that I would normally have done. Not with ease, but fairly easily without thinking about it really. And this, this is the result. That's over. Day three, it's just done a ramp test. 380 watts was the hardest final minute, which is the bit that counts really. Right, it's Saturday anyway. Day of activities, get on with, cut the grass, wash the car, um, be cheerful and merry. Right then. Day four update, rode the turbo first thing this morning, super early, did an hour actually. Into GCN Megabase tomorrow. Depending on how my how my hand feels, I might even contemplate riding home, get the train in, ride back, hour on the bike. Right, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> right? Not the easiest to open. <laughs> Right, we're into day five now, and I'm not gonna be riding my bike. Um, yeah, so it's been a busy day, and I, I don't think I'm gonna have the motivation to ride when I get back in this evening. Not a complete write-off, had a big walk into work, and then I got the walk back all the way to the car, which is uh, up a big old hill to be fair, so I'm gonna get out of breath. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that actual, that's how hard it was walking up the hill. I mean, I could have been here, Riding this, getting fit, being healthy, doing exercise, but instead. Day six, quarter two six. 
Here we are again. I can actually ride outside today, I think. This is healed up good enough to get out on the road. Look, I am your father. We're outside GCN Mega Base. There he is. Hey, yeah. Um, no cycle at lunchtime. But we have had a cake, haven't we? No, today is really hot and um, we thought we'd carb up. And uh, how much riding have you got today? I'm actually going to cycle all the way home. How long is about that? an hour. Hour? Mm. Right, he's carbo loaded, he's ready to go. It's the um, first bike ride home for a mega base I've done for a long time since, oh, way before before the crash, it's absolutely lovely to get to get out after work on the bikes. It makes you feel good. Important rule: um, as soon as you get from cycling, nutrition is key. Get that straight on sorted. Leftover vegetable curry. Gonna go for a run. Running is hard. Uh, um, absolutely dreadful. What are we? 25, uh, 26, 26 minutes, 11 seconds. 5.02k. I'm definitely no runner. Dog walk time now. Um, I had to come straight out on the dog walk from the run. Two reasons. One, it's going to be boiling hot today, which is incredibly rare for the UK. And um, I just could not cool down and stop sweating. So it just made sense to head straight out. So week one complete. I'm actually feeling pretty happy to be back on the bike, albeit indoors on the turbo trainer. Now I did manage to get out on the road this week too, and it's the first time since my accident, and oh my, did it feel good. <sighs> Bless. First big effort done out on the road. Ah, oh, I thought I'd share, share that experience with everybody else. That was a minute and a half max effort. Horrific. Um, BRB and I'll talk more. Next week, I'm actually away visiting family and friends with no bike. It's Stonehenge. A collection of rocks that everyone in the UK is actually mesmerised by. It's day 12 now, I think, or 13. Day 12. The weekend was a bit of a blur. I did one run, two barbecues, lots of driving, so it was a bit of a write-off really in terms of... Um, in terms of progress. So, exercise and fitness but it was okay did some walking did one run and um well back on it today back to it back on the turbo it is currently 6 25 in the morning half hour easy i feel tired but um start a week off aiming to go on this is me cycling home in the rain yeah um there's a pattern emerging here, similar to this morning. I am, yet again, not doing any cycling. I mean, come on, it's raining hard. I felt tired this morning, I had a sore throat, and I'm not riding home in the rain, what's the point? Although I was gonna say to myself, I'm gonna ride the turbo when I get in, but by the time I get home, I'm gonna wanna have dinner, I'm gonna wanna sit and watch telly, and let's face it, I'm unlikely to do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna commit to doing the morning. Get up early, half hour on the turbo, and I think I'm actually due to you know, be out filming tomorrow anyway. So I'm gonna get some cycling done in the daytime. And oh boy, do I hope it's not raining by then. So far this week it has rained a lot, meaning I didn't ride lots, but such is life. However, I'm still feeling good and making good progress, which is what this is all about. Right, I thought I'd have a bit of an update. Now, I did get up early Wednesday, I rode the turbo for 30 minutes, but also, crucially, in the day, I actually did lots of cycling. In fact, 
I did a few hard efforts whilst creating a video for the new Zip 808 Firecrest wheels. And then today, I've done even more cycling. So I was up at Odd Down Cycle Circuit with Dr. Oliver Bridgewood, Hank, and the kind members of Bath CC and the kind people from Pronto Bikes who were helping us create a little video about riding in a group. So over the last couple of days, I've actually done loads of riding and I'm starting to feel quite good on the bike. Not quite as fast as I was going back a little while, but I'm feeling more confident on the bike, more relaxed, I'm enjoying it. I'm feeling sort of like I'm getting back towards my old ways, which is a nice feeling to have and kind of spurs you on to carry on riding a little bit more in the future. So hopefully over the weekend, I can get some more rides in the bag. Right there, bust. Right then, it's about time oh, we had a proper sit down update. Now, you may notice, there you go, I'm sounding a little bit snuffly and blocked up. It would appear, it kind of, I might have a bit of a head cold. Now, I feel perfectly fine, but I was gonna head out this evening and do the local chain gang, and I haven't been able to do that for absolutely ages. Yeah, slightly disappointing not to go and do that this week, but. There's gonna be plenty more opportunities. Anyway, at the start of this video, I said it wasn't all gonna be about science and data. As much as I love the stuff, it's not the reason I ride my bike. I ride my bike for the sense of exploring, for the fact that you can really push your body to the limits. And it's a great way to forget about the normal, boring stuff of day-to-day -day life. And that's the, for me, is the reason why I love cycling so much. Pure and simple. Okay, so what actually did happen in my crash? It's been long enough and it's about time I told everybody. So after a busy day of shooting, we were out in the Mendips of down near Cheddar and Cheddar Gorgeway. I was actually just riding home, just taking my time, chilling out, rode down a long, fast, straight descent, went into a shady area and then bam, I rode straight into this big boulder of a rock. Now I'm not talking boulder bigger than the size of your head, but you know, it's like a, a very large fist. So I ploughed straight into it, I double punctured, I went flying over the handlebars. Now it was quite a spectacular crash, but not necessarily one that would normally give you quite the same level of injuries that I, um, that I left with. So it turns out I crashed on a section of road which had recently been stone chipped and therefore was like crazy abrasive. Basically everything was incredibly cut up. Wah, bah, bah. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, bump, oh, bump. Uh. Ah, look at that. The Long Lake Safari Park. Good morning. It's day 27. I wanted to discuss the sort of psychological element of coming back from a crash. So for me, the psychological element of returning from a crash isn't necessarily something that I've worried about in the past or really had to think about. From racing, crashing has kind of been part and parcel of it. Yeah, you're unfortunate enough to have a crash, you sort of scrape yourself back up and you deal with whatever situation is left, be that cuts, scrapes, bruises, stitches, broken bones, and in the very worst case that I've ever had, an occasional bit of surgery to repair some broken bones. Now, of course, no one wants to crash. I certainly don't want to crash. I've crashed more than enough times. But the thing that occurs to me, or the bit that I worry about the most, I guess, or I'm concerned about the most, is the recovery process afterwards. That is the bit that, that worries me more than the crash. The crash is rubbish, but it's over and done and dusted straight away. The process of recovery afterwards is much, much slower and much more painful. And is that, that's the point when you really need the most help from, from friends, family, and um, yeah, this crash of recent really highlights that. We've, 
my wife Chloe having to really uh, nurse me back to health, so to speak. So yeah, for me, I think the implications afterwards are what I worry about the most. But in the moment, I'm never worried about crashing. I think if you think about it and worry about it too much, you're almost like lining yourself up to crash, which uh, is probably the worst way to go about it. It will be what it will be. Don't take any unnecessary risks. And um, yeah, just try and stay safe out there, guys. Try your best. It's D-Day, which means I'm about to get on the turbo. Not for the very last time ever, but for the last time in this video, which means I've got to do a ramped effort to see just how much better or maybe even worse if it's all gone horrifically wrong. I am after best part of 30 days of riding, trying to get fit, being a bit more healthy, active, positive mindset and all of that kind of jazz. There's the turbo. It's all set up, ready to go. I've got a towel around my neck as if I'm some sort of boxing champion. I'm going to get warmed up and, um, well, ride as hard as I possibly can for my ramped efforts. It's going to go up in 20 watt increments every minute repeat the exact same test we did at the start. It's not rocket science. If I get to a higher number, I've got fitter. Happy days. Ah, right. First thing, that was horrific, but a clear noticeable improvement, not only on the actual power I could sustain, which is great. I think we've had some improvements and a bit of sort of like muscle memory coming back there. So the highest average one minute power of my ramp test, so basically the last one minute, this time was 425 watts. 425? Yeah, 425 watts. Which, if my mind serves me correctly, is 45 watts more than what I did last time. I'm really happy with that. It's a good improvement. Right, I've just got back in having been riding and filming all day another GCN video, and I feel like it's a natural time to wind this video to a bit of a close. And in true GCN style, it's only actually been 28 days, so not quite the full 30, but we'll brush over that fact. But what I do want to say is that the whole process has been fantastic, I think. The feeling that I've got inside and the motivation of having gone from really struggling to have sort of any degree of fitness compared to what I'm used to and then building and progressing having things like my hand and all my injuries really heal up and get better has been really a sort of positive process and I really hope that that same sort of ethos has come across in the video and I hope that it's inspired everybody at home to who's maybe even had an injury or a setback and it's inspired you to get back on the bike try and progress and build your own fitness back up and I'm not going to just stop riding. I'm not going to stop training. I'm going to try and keep this level of trajectory and keep improving, keep building my fitness. And at the moment, I'm enjoying cycling as much as I think I've ever enjoyed it. It's fantastic. I hope everyone else has enjoyed the little journey that we've been on. And as I say, just inspired you. So I'm going to draw it to a close here. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you want to see more videos a bit like this, subscribe to GCN, hit that bell icon to turn on your notifications. See you later.